Hey guys, this is Muppet, and today I'm going to show you how to make a user bar. Uh, you'll see them a lot on forums. They're those little, like, images and your signature. And here's one I made a while ago. That's just the basic look of it. So first you're going to open Photoshop. It doesn't really matter what version you use, but I'm using CS3 for this. And here, I'll resize this. Let's go to File, New, and then for the dimensions, the width is going to be 350, and the height is 19. And make sure it's set to pixels. By default, for me at least, Photoshop set it to inches. Then your background should be transparent. So now you have this. Just zoom into it so you can see it better. And then you're going to make five layers. Uh, you can name them if you want to, but just name the first one gradient, second one lines, third one image, the fourth one's your text layer, and then the fifth one is the shiny layer. It sort of gives it like a shine or a 3D look almost. But you don't have to name them, it just will help you keep track of the different layers better. Next you're going to go to the gradient tool, and this is going to be your background. So if you don't have one, you you have to make a new one. So just, it wants the foreground to the background, that seems to be the easiest. So for your primary, just pick white, and then the background, pick like a 360-ish color theme because this is for a 360 user bar but whatever you're making just kind of get the color of it and put that there you'll get the hang of it so then click your new gradient and then zoom out just drag it across and all oh, this is backwards but it should go light to dark You don't want too much white at the end. You, you just want it to be like a light version of whatever color you have to the darkest color. So for me, that'd be like really light green to almost like a lime green. Then now it's time for your line. So new and then make it three by three. Zoom in and then take the pencil tool and set to black. And then you're going to make three dots, top right, in the center, and then the bottom left. These are going to be repeated all over your user bar, and that will make the thing. So go to Edit, and then Define Pattern. You can call it Thin Lines or whatever, because this will make pretty thin lines when you do it, or when you repeat it, but... Then you could just close it. You've defined the pattern. You don't need to save it. Then you're now going to use the pattern stamp tool. It's sort of like the clone stamp tool. It's right in there with it. And then select your new pattern. Then just draw it all over. Like Just make sure it covers the whole thing evenly. And now you have the background to your user bar. Now it's time for the image. You can either use the 360 image I provided here, or use your own 360 image. This is for the 360 user bar again. So just drag it over. Uh, make sure you've checked the show transform controls box so you can resize it. So hold shift and drag it so it's smaller. Shift makes sure that it's even. Then drag it over to the left of your user bar. You're going to want to position it so you can see most of it, but you don't want to see the whole picture because then it'll be too small and you won't really be able to see it when it's in your signature. So that's your user bar pretty much. Now it's time for the text.
after you've installed the font that it's in the description use visitor tt2 that one just works the best and you're gonna want the font size to be 13 and make sure this is set to none then just type uh, make sure it's white too Xbox 360 owner or you can make it whatever you want you can adjust the font size up here you're gonna try to want to make the word about like a third as tall as the user bar is 13 looks pretty good then just align it like so eh. whatever time for the shine layer the shine layer just makes it look 3D it's a nice effect to put on it so get the elliptical marquee tool out and then you pretty much just want to see a little like curve coming down so drag it across and then pull down and you should see the little dotted lines pop in you're trying to get it to hit the two corners and then the bottom but not the not quite at the bottom but just like in the area of that you don't want it to go to the bottom so try this again uh, now take the paint bucket tool and just fill it white you can uncheck the show transform controls box if you want to see it should look like this now but now you're gonna go to the opacity it's over here not the blending options you change the opacity to 30 and now you will see it's almost like it's transparent but you can sorta of see it but when you zoom out and you make your final picture it'll look better just leave the image alone um, looks like it made an extra layer I'm just gonna delete this um, you're now going to edit your lines transparency. So, set the opacity of the lines to 30. And you can leave the gradient alone. Oh, and in text, right click it and go into blending options. Then at the bottom, you will see stroke. Click that, set the stroke to one pixel. And then for the color, set it to black. And hit OK. Okay. And now you have your little blank outline around the text. Um, you're basically done. Remember, if you're gonna make anything transparent, uh, you have to save it in a format that supports it, such as PNG. So, yeah. Thanks for watching. And this is Muppet. So, hope you had fun making user bars.